Hey, it's Anfa, and uh, I'm gonna fix a problem. Well, I've been making another video for Anfa Vlog, and for some reason, at some point, Caden Live has changed my original footage captured from my desktop to the proxy footage. So when I go clip properties, you can see this name is some random string. Whoa. Mm. And it is. <laughs> What? Wait a second. Oh no, this is this is not not the right footage. Because this has Hey, what? Wait, what? No way. It didn't have the proper resolution or did it? No, it didn't. So This is a proxy. And I've been watching the the rendered video, and I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, yeah, this is it. This is the final video. Note how blurry it is. This is just pure pixelation. Like, nope, this is not what I wanted. So uh, let's fix this, shall we? Um, I have here my Kaden Life project. This is the version I'm using. I'm gonna open it up with Kate, which is the Kaden Life. Sorry, uh, the KDE text editor. And uh, let's see. Okay, I think this is it. Uh, I need to verify. So I'm gonna say to rename this clip just to copy the name, so I can save it. And then, wait a minute, hide this. Then I'm gonna Control F to search, and I'm gonna search for this string. Oh, there it is. So let's see how many occurrences there are. Uh, I actually have already tried this. You see, I have grab. Oh, I need to heal myself. I'm doing. <laughs> oh dear. Well, too much of text. I'm doing using grab to see how much, how many times this string occurs in this file. The C says, the C switch says count. That means it doesn't X print every occurrence. It just says how many. Anyway, looks like um, this is really the string I need, the full one. So I will need to replace this with the original file that I really want. So let's go search and replace, and I'm gonna find this string, let's search Let's find the first occurrence. It's 91 matches found. Okay, let's see how many matches found. It says grab 91. Okay, that matches. So this string occurs 91 times. It's a bit, I'm not sure if it's just 91 because it says here it's 150 copies in the entire timeline. So maybe that's not a, a, like perfectly accurate. Oh, that's better. Um, nevertheless, <laughs> I'm gonna try because I've spent like, I've been, yesterday I, like 10 hours of rendering just went out of the window because every time it was broken. Uh, a few times because of my own fault, but a few times because of some problem uh, that was maybe not necessarily entirely caused by my stupidity. So, okay, what, what else do I want to, su I need to sub Oh, the problem is also that there is width and height, like, would I have to replace the whole block and the codec and everything, like, or maybe if I just, sub r like, replace the name. Also, it's weird, like, it's strange to me that there is not a single place where I can just replace this once, like, I have this here. Also, I wish there was a way like replace, um, an option to replace, replace the source file <laughs> without removing and redoing all my editing. That would be very useful. I cannot edit clip. Maybe I could if I configured something. I don't know. Environment, apps. 
image editing. Well, there is no video editing. Probably that's why I can't edit it. Maybe if I opened up a uh, graphic file, yeah, I can edit that. Okay. Okay, let's find the file that I really want to substitute there. Let's see what do we get. Maybe it's gonna fix the problem. Um, it's in capture and the bigger one. 6.4 gigabytes. Yeah, this is it. So I want this file and the whole path of it. And I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna copy this path. I'm gonna paste it to replace. And then I'm gonna copy this file's name. Oh, there's some noises. And paste it here after a slash. So let's make sure this is the correct thing. Okay, I'm gonna, just to make sure, I'm gonna copy this. Uh, and I'm gonna go, what is this called? MPV? Uh, ah, all right. Yeah, I should put this in quotation marks. Yeah. And this is the source file. And it's in good quality. Maybe you can't tell, but I can see it's in, it's, it's the right quality. <laughs> all righty. So now just let's um, replace checked, which should replace everything. And I see it didn't replace it here, for example. So what the fuck? Or did it? It didn't. Okay. Well, if I wanted to do this, I could, uh, maybe there's a shortcut. Alt R. Yeah, let's hold it. All right, let's go through all the documents and just make sure it is replaced. I think it is already replaced. Let's try to find the string again. No match is found, so every match, every time it in it occurred, we replaced with the proper one. Hopefully, it's gonna work. Now I'm gonna save this document <laughs> under a new name. Save as, and I'm gonna call this edit eight. And now, let's just close this and open it again and hope it's gonna work. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have, okay, let's maybe, um, maybe let's try opening with, will that work? Let's try, I don't know. <laughs> will it work? Okay, that's the right version because it always says, that's the, what's, something is wrong. The app image, app image version of Caden Live from the website always says that has no lib flag, no lib vorbis and no lib h24264 and coders, which is kind of kind of a bummer because these are some that I really like to use. Oh, we can't open, what? Okay, so that fucking doesn't work. Well, now what? Uh, I can try to replace the file. Yeah, I can try to replace the file itself. That is an option. So, okay, this didn't, didn't work. No idea why, but um, it didn't. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Oh, cool, I have uh, this in history. I'm gonna see, copy the path of this file. Uh, let's open a new tab. I'm gonna open the directory where the file is located and this is the place where every single one of them is. No, it's Control O, Control I. Yeah, Control I. Now it's Control I. Quick filter. All right, this file. Yeah, this is the file I need. Now let us rename this. I'm going to copy its name once again and rename it to Original. And now I am going to uh, open up my blah, blah, blah. OK. 
Yep, I'm going to link this file here. I'll did it work? Ah, yeah, it worked, but I don't have the yeah the filter doesn't doesn't allow me to show it. So maybe let's <laughs> okay. All right, now I need to use the filter again. All right, this is it. So that is the new file. I'm gonna to name it like the proxy file. So hopefully, what's gonna happen is Kden Live is gonna load the project without any changes, but the same file that previously was uh, the the small resolution one low quality file will now be the full quality one and hopefully the video will render fine let's see um let us open the kden live and and just see if it if it choose that file properly oh this is the 07 wait a minute Editing, yeah, okay, 07, yeah, that's the version, it didn't change. Okay, it, it works, it looks like it should look. Let's maybe move the monitor to full screen and, yes, this is full quality. Okay, if, do we have sound? Because maybe sound's gonna break. Whoa, all right, okay. Uh, there is sound. Yeah, it's super slow, but, well, that's to be expected. Okay. There is hope. <laughs> Looks like this problem is is solved. So, yeah. If uh, Caden Life happens to replace your original footage with the proxy one in your project, you can try and do what I did. That is, rename the original proxy to something else and link in or copy the full uh, quality footage in its place so Caden Life will load it. That is gonna be a bit problematic if you need to replace more than one files. Thankfully, I just had one file affected and you know, it's just the single file that is the source material for the vast majority of the video. All right, now, unfortunately my um, super duper cool multi-threaded rendering script doesn't work with this version of Caden Live, so I have to re-render this manually. Whoa, uh, no. No, I just wanted to say, yeah, change the name. So unfortunately, I have to, um, yeah, just um, do this and wait like four or five hours. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something <laughs> about debugging Kaden Life projects. Well, I don't really know. I, I would report this as a bug, but I, I can't really reproduce this. I don't know what happened. So um, I don't know if reporting this uh, makes any sense because uh, if I can't provide any information of how this happened, how they're going to fix it, I don't know. And I don't really have any way to trace this down. So yeah, I just hope it's not going to happen again. And I will see you soon, hopefully, with the new video that is just being rendered. Uh, yeah, it's just going to take a few hours. Yeah. This video is 18 minutes, but it takes four and a half hours to render uh, because I did some more compositing. Unfortunately, well, I can render it on multiple threads because I have, you know, I have Ryzen 7 1700 CPU. It has 17 threads, as you can see here. Uh, and, you know, I'm not rendering right now. I mean, it's not started rendering yet, but anyway, it the overall CPU usage, the average CPU usage is 25%. Even most of that is now OBS recording the video as I'm talking. It's not even this. Uh, if it would be this, then <laughs> maybe it would be faster. Anyway, oh, this is not really Unfa Live. I don't know why this marker is there. Sorry, misleading. Okay, never mind. See ya. Bye.